this is a demo we put together for some conversations last week. And, and just to, to be clear and manage expectations of what you're looking at, we're not actually talking to an LLM. Um, and so what, what we are doing is talking to our backend server and it's simulating and that way we can kind of rapidly prototype and, and get feedback and, and get your feedback. And so the, the context of, of where we are at this moment as a user is I'm, uh, I'm Derek and this is my avatar and you can see I'm, I'm also up here and I've got uh, some flashing notifications over here, something's trying to get my attention and I'm currently working in my project. And if I were to click this icon here, I would kind of go to the root of my organization um, and I can create a, one project, maybe it's for some sales activity and another project for maybe something I'm doing for my personal or professional development plan or whatever it might be. So I can organize even this chat kind of different spaces. And similar to uh, what you're familiar with now, we're uh, planning on continuing things like tagging your content. Um, and, and so that you'll have the ability to organize the files that you're, you're chatting with. And so we've, we've uh, identified some content and we wanted to come up with webinars based on this content. And our, our uh, AI has given us these suggestions here. Now, as we scroll down, some of the things that we'd really just like to see how you feel about some of these ideas that we're exploring is uh, one, up, up at the top, we're in smart chat mode. Um, however, if we were to say, click this tab, we're thinking that the UI may change um, and be more focused on managing the knowledge that's involved in this chat. And so that's where you might add new files or remove files from the context of the conversation that you're having. Similarly, we're, uh, we're thinking about if you were to click this actions tab, uh, you would kind of switch modes again to be one focused on creating repeatable actions. And so maybe this conversation that we're about to have, we wanna turn it into a repeatable workflow that we can do you know, every Monday or, or just on demand, we can come in and kind of click the play button to, to repeat all these things, perhaps based on different content. Uh, we're thinking of the insights mode as uh, when you click here, kind of bubbling up what the system believes is are, are the best insights that were derived out of the conversation. And then also some settings modes where you might uh, change the tone of voice that you're using for the conversation or um, uh, you know, perhaps change some, some other settings about uh, permissioning or something like that. And so as we've asked this particular question, you know, based on this content, uh, come up with some webinars that we should offer. We have the, uh, we're, and again, just to be clear, we're playing around with all of these ideas and uh, I'll, I'll kind of walk through this initial UI and then pause to get some feedback. Um, we're, we're thinking that you might want to share uh, the result of this particular uh, interaction in the conversation. And so you could click this button and get a link that you could drop in Slack or send an email or, or something like that. We're playing with the idea of um, uh, uh, helping you switch perhaps to a different LLM. Uh, for example, uh, some LLMs are better at content writing uh, and others are better at math problems. And so uh, maybe if you don't like the, the response that you got the first time, um, you can click and a menu would pop up with, with other LLMs for you to choose. And we're working on something we're calling the LLM router, which is uh, where Storytel itself will try to infer based on the content and the job you're trying to get done, what we think the best LLM is for your use case. We're playing with the idea of offering a rewrite button. And that rewrite button, when you clicked it, uh, not only could it, it just kind of re rewrite the content because you weren't happy with it, but it was close, but maybe you would want to rewrite it in a different voice, a different tone, the CEO's voice, uh, something like that, or uh, maybe you want a more succinct answer or a more detailed answer. Those would be some options that we might propose uh, when you click on the rewrite menu here. Additionally, uh, as we, we look down here, um, we're playing with the idea of coming up with suggestions or next steps to take or, or different steps to take based on what we understand about the job you're trying to get done and the conversation that you're having. 
So here our system is suggesting that uh, we refine the webinar topics, that we rephrase the webinar topics, or that we suggest other ways of educating customers, perhaps beyond uh, a webinar. I'll go ahead and grab this next uh, prompt here and paste this in. And so now we've, uh, we wanna take the, this idea and we wanna create an outline for the webinar. And we've typed in uh, one of the ideas that we were given. And so now Storytel has responded with an outline of a webinar. Um, and uh, at this point, we, the, the system can strongly infer that you've, you like this idea and we've moved forward with an outline. And so we're playing with the idea of uh, performing additional work that we have a high confidence that you might like. And so for example, here we have um, a, a setting or a preference where when we have high confidence that you might want a, a presentation like a PowerPoint deck, that we would go ahead and create a preview of that for you. And if this is something that's getting in your way or slowing you down or just adding noise, you could click the checkbox to kind of turn it off. And then the next time you put a prompt in, even though we have a high confidence that you might want a deck, we wouldn't just automatically make one for you. But we might still propose it as a suggested item. Um, and again, we can suggest other ways of edu educating the customer, or perhaps we try a different prompt. And then I'll do one more prompt here, and then I'll, I'll pause just to, to get some feedback. Um, and so now we want, to con uh, we want to continue with this particular webinar. And so we want to come up with uh, some ideas on uh, what types of panelists we could bring into the webinar. And so we've asked Storytel, and Storytel has created these kind of three different personas for, for different panelists. And now we might want to draft an email or, or something like that. And then I, I lied. There's one more I want to do here, which is uh, creating a, a blog. And uh, here we create a blog content. And then again, kind of playing with the idea of performing an additional action that we have high confidence for. Um, we'll go ahead and add uh, some images here that we think might be good for your, um, your, your blog article in addition to additional suggestions. And then on the right-hand side, some additional menu items that we haven't talked about yet is the ability to mark this particular uh, uh, interaction in the conversation as uh, something that you want to automate. And so maybe as we're going through these, we've got a couple of steps here. Maybe we don't wanna always automate the panelists, but maybe we always wanna come up with an outline. And so we could click on this to mark it as part of our repeatable automation. We could click on uh, coming up with uh, the webinar idea as a repeatable automation. And then maybe again, the blog down here, oh, click that to mark it as a repeatable automation. In addition to maybe having a conversation with a colleague or coworker uh, about this particular blog post, uh, making it real easy to copy without getting kind of the story tile markers and things like that and, and additional uh, items that we can put in the menu here. So uh, appreciate that you've given me the floor to kind of run here rather quickly. Sorry, I did more prompts than I said I was going to do, but hopefully that, that's a good um, point for us to talk about how this is landing for you and, and what you all are thinking.